welcome back to our channel or welcome to our channel if you guys are new here. And for today's video, I am going to be showing you everything that I got for my four-year-old special needs daughter's Easter basket. The last couple of years that I've done this video, we've done a little bit of a budget with it. So last year's budget was 50. This year's budget was 45. So a little bit less than last year and we were able to stay within that mark. So if you need some last minute ideas for your kid's Easter basket and you're on a budget, keep watching. So this is her Easter basket. I got her this basket off of Amazon. I want to say for her first Easter, maybe her second Easter. And it is the cutest little basket. It has like little daisies on the inside and um, a nice little fabric cloth. It's got two little handles and it's just a really cute, simple woven basket. So this is what we are going to be stuffing with all of her goodies today. And everything that I am about to show you guys that I got for her is from either Walmart or Dollarama. Those are always my two go-to places for Easter basket things, especially when you're on a budget and shopping last minute. So first things first from Walmart, I got her Isabella Madrigal from Encanto. She absolutely freaking loves Barbies, you guys, and she has... Mirabelle, she has Louisa, so now she's going to have Isabella, and I think she's just gonna be so pumped. She just absolutely loves dollies and Barbies, so I had to get her another one, another addition. And then she typically always needs like a new pair of shoes for the summer, so I just got her these adorable pink sandals. I'm hoping I got the right size for her. I find that her feet grow so fast. And sometimes I look at shoes on the shelf and I'm like, oh yeah, those are, those are gonna be fish. She'll have so much room for those. And then I come home and put them on her and they don't even fit her. So I'm really hoping these ones are gonna fit. They're just really cute, simple pink sandals. She's had these exact same ones before. I feel like she's had these every summer. We just generally get the same exact ones, but a bigger size for her. And they're awesome because obviously they're waterproof, water safe, and it usually lasts throughout the summer. And the last thing I got her from Walmart was this really cute little Easter Pez. It has a little sheep on it and I just thought it was too cute not to get her. I think she's gonna think that's absolutely adorable. She's had a Pez before. I think I got her one for Christmas and put it in her stocking one year and I think she's really gonna like this because she loves little hard candies. So I think she's gonna have fun with this. And then all the rest of the stuff I am about to show you now is from Dollarama. First things first, I got her this Easter egg fidget toy. She absolutely loves poppets and fidgets and she has quite a plethora of them, but sometimes she loses interest when she's had them for a while. And it's been a bit since I've gotten her a new one. So I got her this really cute purple one. We kind of went for a purple, blue, pastel pink theme with this basket and color wise. And then I got her this adorable felt finger puppet kit. You get to decorate the little puppets and then put them on her finger. She absolutely loves little things like this. She loves arts and crafts. She loves putting her raspberries on her finger. So I thought these would be really cute for her to have and a really fun activity for us to do on Easter. So I'll help her decorate these and then she can walk around and talk to her little friends on her hands. And I just thought that was absolutely adorable. It says you can make up to eight puppets. So super cute, super fun. And then I also got her these Easter egg pots. So there's three little pots in here that you get to paint and stuff with little Easter grass. I thought that was super cute. I definitely wanted to get her a painting thing. And I had this other thing that was like a little booklet with paint in it that you just add water to. But then I saw these and I just had to get these because I knew these would be super cute to put in the yard to decorate our garden for the summertime. And how cute will it be to have these in the garden when Skylar Mays has painted them that just makes it extra adorable. So if you're looking for yet another Easter cute fun craft to do with your kids, run, don't walk to Dollarama and get these little Easter pots. And then we got her some shredded paper Easter grass for just the bottom of her basket, again in that blue and purple um, color scheme. I also got her two things of Play-Doh. She absolutely freaking loves Play-Doh, cannot get enough of it. And she plays with it so often that it gets dirty so quick and she usually mixes colors together. So we go through Play-Doh a lot 
more frequently than I would like to admit, um, but I usually only get her new Play-Doh for things like Easter, Christmas, birthday, and maybe on a special occasion if I find that she's been really wanting to play with it and doesn't have any. So again, I got her one blue and one purple, and these will hopefully last her a little bit, but what kid doesn't like Play-Doh? Next up, I got her some chalk, but these ones are Easter egg shaped, which I thought was absolutely adorable. She is absolutely obsessed with chalk, loves drawing on everything with chalk. She has a little chalkboard for indoor chalk crafts, but then obviously we have our patio outside and she even draws with chalk on the fence, on the side of the house. It's obviously easy to wash off, so it's not that big of a deal, but I thought these ones were so cute because they're Easter egg shaped and with the long, usual shaped chalk, she breaks them quite easily because she draws so hard with chalk. So I think these will be a lot better for her because they're a lot more sturdy and harder to break I'm hoping just because of the shape that they are but how adorable are those I was so close to getting her like a big jumbo thing of chalk but then I got those instead because it fits with the Easter theme and they were just too cute not to get next up she really needs a new water bottle so I got her this really cute purple one she loves using her water bottles but she hasn't been using hers lately I think it's a lot of wear and tear so she definitely needs a new one so perfect time to give her a new one just stick it in her Easter basket and again with the purple theme pretty simplistic it's got like a little design or um, a pattern on it of some kind but I think she's gonna like it and she definitely prefers water bottles with the straws and then I've gotten her one of these for Easter before but it didn't last very long because she quickly destroyed it and ripped the ears off of it but she did love it for the time that she had it so I saw it in Dollarama and I wanted to get her another one it's just a really cute Easter bunny pen again she loves to draw whether it's with crayons painting pens pencils so Another cute little pen that she can walk around. I know she's gonna like to walk around even if she's not drawing with it because it's like a stick and she loves anything in stick form, especially when it's fuzzy on top. And then because she loves stickers so much, I got her some Easter themed stickers. Some are a lot thicker and then we have like regular silver shiny stickers and then just um, like opaque matte stickers. So a little bit of a sticker, Easter sticker pack to stick in her basket. And she will go through these quite quickly. She's been loving stickers lately because she's finally figured out how to get them off herself. I used to have to help her pick them off and then just hand them to her and she would stick them on her paper. But now she can do it herself and she will go through this in no time. And then for all of her Easter candy, chocolates and goodies, I got her these Easter eggs with jelly beans. It's really cute because they're little Easter eggs in an Easter egg cart and on the inside they have little candy jelly beans on them so I thought that was gonna be super fun for her to open and and practice for Easter and again she loves little candies like little jelly beans so she is just gonna have so much fun opening her little her little goodies in her little Easter egg carton and then I just got her a really small pack of mini eggs as well as this little pink bunny chocolate sucker. I thought that was super cute to stick in her basket and I think she'll really like it. And then I always get the classic milk chocolate Easter eggs that are like this type of design because I use them to make her Easter egg trail to her basket and outline an S in front of her basket. So I got a pack of these, hopefully it's enough, but. I got more just in case. And then I just got her this little chocolate Easter bunny to stick in her basket because every Easter basket needs at least one chocolate bunny, but I didn't want to get a ginormous one for her because most of the time it's me and Chris eating most of the chocolate anyways, but we all have big sweet tooths in this house, so I just got her this nice little chocolate bunny and again I think she's really gonna like it so that is everything that I got for my daughter's Easter egg basket mostly just like lots of crafty things that I know she already likes and needs for the spring weather going outside a lot having some chalk some new shoes a new water bottle just stuff like that really I love going out and making Easter baskets especially this time of year when spring's coming because you need a little spring refresh and some new things every once in a while so now Let's go ahead and fill up her Easter basket and get it all ready for Easter weekend.
so these two items I didn't actually have room for in her basket. Surprise, surprise, I always overstuff it. So I am going to leave these outside of her basket on Easter morning for her. And then of course her little Easter eggs to make her trail, like I said, on Easter morning. So this is how her Easter basket looks like. I just fit everything where I could and kind of stuffed everything in here. I think it looks super cute and I think she's gonna be really happy with her Easter egg basket this year. I know I'm really happy with it, especially with how full it is and how I know how happy she's gonna be with everything in here and honestly with how cheap everything is. With being on a budget, it can be hard sometimes. So things like this can make it a little bit easier and give other parents, moms ideas. I know this video is going up very last minute, but if you're like me, then you might be doing some last minute shopping. So I hope this gave you some ideas for your kids Easter baskets and I hope you enjoyed watching me put everything in my daughter's. I know I'm going to enjoy her opening it on Easter morning and that'll probably be the next vlog that you guys see is our Easter long weekend video so make sure you guys are subscribed and you click on your bell notification so you guys don't miss that upload. So until then thank you guys so much for watching this video and we will see you in the next one. Bye everyone! Mm -hmm.